Buenos días, clase. Bienvenido al primer video de gramática en Español 2. Welcome to your first video grammar lesson for Spanish 2. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the verb ser, which you know means to be. We're going to talk about and review some of its uses, its conjugations, but most importantly, we're going to talk about using adjectives with the verb ser, modifying those adjectives, and keeping in mind the importance of number and gender. So, a quick review of the conjugations. Here they are for you. We know real quickly, soy, eres, es, somos, son. So, I have it organized here with the singular subjects on the left. Yo, soy, I am, tu, eres, you are, el es, he is, ella es, she is, usted es, you are. Of course, you remember, tu is for your friends and family and familiar and young people. And usted is for older strangers and to show respect. A lot of times we use es just by itself. And we know that that can come to mean just it's. It's nice. It's hot. It's hers. Whatever. Um, nosotros and nosotras for girls. Somos means we are. Ellos son. They are for masculine. Ellas son, they are for feminine, and ustedes son for you all, you plural, or y'all are, right? So there's your conjugation. Make sure you memorize those if you have forgotten them. Soy, eres, es, somos, son. Okay, so here's um, when we use ser. This was something I had given you at the end of last year. It is typically used for permanent descriptions and personal identities. Remember, there is also estar which also means to be. And remember that one is about feelings and location and things that are more subject to change. So our uses for SER, if you remember the acronym, I do not. So here's the acronym for you. I've identified what each letter stands for and given you a couple examples of each. Okay, so you can look over those. You will have this video to refer to, this, this PowerPoint to work with as much as you need to. Um, of course, identity and description are what we're going to be using the most, especially description today. Ella es simpática, ellos son buenos, for example. But remember, you also have things like nationality, ownership, and especially time and date. Es la una, son las dos, hoy es lunes, hoy es el 24 de agosto, etc. So all of those we would use a form of the verb ser in those types of sentences. All right, this um, chart here comes right from your textbook on page three, and this is about using ser for descriptions. Okay, so obviously we're going to choose which form of the verb ser to agree with our subject, and then we have to remember to modify our adjectives. So if we are describing people, places, or things, the adjective have the same number and gender as the nouns they describe. And they usually come after the noun. If I said, she is a nice girl, I would be saying she is a girl nice, right? Ella es una chica simpática. But if I'm simply saying she is nice, it would be ella es simpática, okay? So there are some examples off to the right for you. La chica es alta, ends in an A, el chico es alto. Alta ends in A when describing the girl, but in O when describing the boy. Okay, now we also know that there are such things as a neutral adjective, meaning it doesn't have a gender. It's neither feminine nor masculine, so it stays the same. We do not have to consider whether we're describing a male or female, so it just will remain in its neutral form. For example, paciente. Impaciente, fuerte, grande, inteligente. Those are all the obvious ones because they end in E, but there's also ones like deportista, ends in an A, looks feminine, but it's actually neutral. So even when you're describing a boy, you would say, él es deportista. And the word joven, which means young, is also neutral. Now there are... Um, there is something you have to consider when you're working with neutral adjectives. Although they remain gender-free, they must become plural if we are describing more than one person or object in Spanish. For example, 
los chicos son jóvenes y sociables. So we took the adjective joven and we added es to make it plural. And we took the word sociable and we added s to make it plural to agree with who we are describing, which is the chicos. All right, I've got five sentences here now for you to practice. Keep in mind that when you're describing a girl, your adjective must be feminine. When you are describing plural, your adjective must be plural. Masculine, singular masculine, plural. This one, number five, my friends. It doesn't matter if you say mis amigos or mis amigas, as long as your adjectives agree with who you're describing. So on a separate piece of paper, maybe the same paper you've been taking some notes on, you should uh, practice these five conjugations and be prepared to show those to me in class tomorrow. Adios.